Hello my dears, how are you today? I am Sora and today we're gonna talk about seed dispersal. So what is the meaning of seed dispersal? You know that, that all plants have seeds and these seeds transport from one place to another by different ways. This is the meaning of seed dispersal. So seed dispersal means that the seeds are transported from one place to another. As you can see, this is the coconut. And this is the seed of the coconut. Can you see the seed on the water? So, the first way of the seed dispersal is floating on water of rivers or lakes. And our example is the coconut seed. We can see this plant in Greenland, right? This is called dandelion seed. Dandelion seeds. And you can see that this plant or this seeds looks like the fairy super. So this fairy plant called maple seeds. So the second way of the seed dispersal is traveling by wind. Why they travel by wind? As they light seeds. They are light seeds. So number two of the ways of the seed dispersal is traveling by wind. And our examples are dandelion seeds and maple seeds. This is called burdock seed. Burdock seed. The burdock seed stick to the animal's fur or the human claws. And this is the third way of how the seed dispersal. So number three of the ways of the seed dispersal is sticking to animal fur or human claws. And our example is the burdock seed. As you can see that the burdock seed have spines. Those spines stick to the animal fur or the human claws. Our last way of the seed dispersal is by being eaten by animals and comes out with their stool. So animals eat the apples with their seeds and they eat the tomato with their seeds. So our examples here, apple seed and the tomato seed. So the ways of the seed dispersal in nature are number one, floating on water of rivers and lakes, like the coconut seed. Number two, traveling by wind, like the maple seed and the dandelion seed. Number three, sticking to the animal fur or the human claws, and our example is the burdock seed. Number four, by being eaten by animals and comes out with their stool. And our example here is the apple and tomato seeds. So what is the seed dispersal? Can you tell me? Super, clap for yourself. It is the process in which seeds transport from one place to another. What are the ways of the seed dispersal? Super, very, very super. So the ways of the seed dispersal, number one, floating on water of rivers or lakes like the coconut seed. Number two, traveling by wind like the maple seed and the dandelion seed. And we said that they are light seeds. That's why they travel by wind. Number three, sticking to the animal fur or the human claws. And our example, the burdock seed. And we said that the burdock seed have spines. That's why they stick to the animal fur or the human claws. And number four, by being eaten by animals and comes out with their stool. And our example here, the apple and the tomato seeds. Super. This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.